Hello math nerds, this is video three of the unit circle and today we're just going to um, be introduced to the unit circle and get a feel for how this crazy circle is different from other circles. So um, on the screen is a circle and it's divided into four quadrants and the reason we do that is because we're going to act like we're laying the circle down in the middle of a Cartesian plane. So the middle of the of the circle would be like where the origin is on the Cartesian plane. Okay, what's so unique about this unit circle is that the radius of the circle is one. The radius of the circle is one. The other thing is that when we use a circle, we start over here at this point, the point that is one unit to the right of the middle, and we go counterclockwise when we talk about it. So we go that way. So we go counterclockwise. And the other thing you need to know about the unit circle is that one of the things that we do, because it is a circle, is we divide it into degrees. So if we start here, this is considered zero degrees. And if you go up here at the top, that makes a right triangle, so that would be 90 degrees. If you go another 90 degrees, that would be 180. And that makes sense because that's a straight line and the angle of a straight line is 180. If you add 90 again, you get to 70. And then if you get back to here, then you also get 360. And that is the degrees in a full circle. So that's one of the things that we'll do. And I have labeled these um, parts of the unit circle that actually cut the circle into quadrants. I've labeled them and they have a special name and they are called, so big Q, quadrantals. And they are very important because they do um, cut our unit circle into quadrants. So this is quadrant one and this is quadrant two and this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four, just like in the Cartesian plane. The other thing that I want to talk about are the points that occur at these quadrantals. So I'm going to erase these little numbers so we don't get confused. There we go. So I'm going to go by and put the points. So if you, st if you stand in the middle of the circle and you go over to this first point of zero, then that point is one, zero. That's the X and the Y movement. Because to get to that point, you go over one, you go over one and up none, okay? The point here, remember we're laying this down our Cartesian plane. If this is the length of one, because that's the radius of the circle, then this is zero. You don't move any X, but you go up one. When you go over to 180, you have to go left, so that's negative 1, 0. And when you go down to 270, then that is 0, negative 1. Okay, so welcome to the unit circle in the next few videos. We're going to take those special triangles we talked about before and put those in there. Dun, dun, dun.